Today we've come to the final chapter of the book of Micah. The purpose of Micah's message was to warn God's people of the coming judgment and to offer pardon to all who would repent and turn back to him. This chapter opens with Micah's inability to find any upright, honest person anywhere in the land. Sin had affected the government leaders and society in general. Deceit and dishonesty had even ruined families, the core of society. As a result, the only way left to purify the people was God's judgment. This would draw the nation back to God and restore them from the inside out. Throughout the book, we've seen this dichotomy between love and hate. These two words have become casual in our culture, almost tired cliches tossed around carelessly at objects, situations, and even people. It can be difficult for us to fully understand statements that describe a loving God who hates sin. So we can picture God as a gentle kind of cosmic pushover, and our concept of what he hates can become diluted by our misconceptions and wishful thinking. The words of the prophets stand in stark contrast to such misconceptions. God's hatred is real, burning, consuming, even destroying. God hates sin, and he stands as a righteous judge, ready to mete out just punishment to all who would defy his rule. However, God's love is also real, so real, that he sent his only son, Jesus Christ, to save and accept judgment in the sinner's place. In God, love and hate are together, both unending, irresistible, and unfathomable. The book ends with a prayer and a praise, and a hope that God will have compassion on his people. The final two verses read, Once again, you will have compassion on us. You will trample our sins under your feet and throw them into the depths of the ocean. You will show us your faithfulness and unfailing love as you promised to our ancestors Abraham and Jacob long ago. Be reminded today that God delights in showing his unfailing love and mercy. He does not forgive grudgingly, but is glad when we repent. He throws our sins into the depths of the sea and he offers forgiveness to all who would return to him.